so many of you are starting businesses and you are even reviving some old businesses and I want to be sure that you're setting yourself up for success and with many of you starting virtual or online businesses or e-commerce businesses it's important that you do things in such a way that projects a professional appearance even if you don't have a brick and mortar operation so let's talk about this little thing called the registered agent Hey, hey, it's me, Jillian Dulkadir. You can call me Jildy. I hope you guys are doing great. You're watching my channel where we talk about cannabis, business, and entrepreneurship from a legal perspective. And today, guys, we're getting into something that's often overlooked in the corporate filing process and in the incorporation process, and that's the role of your registered agent. And I know some of you are probably saying, Jill, this seems simple enough, but no. So I wouldn't say that it's like super critical or you're gonna run into all these significant legal issues with your registered agent. I'm not saying that at all, but on this channel, I wanna help you level up your business. I wanna help you level up as a professional and I want you to be taken seriously as an entrepreneur. So I want to help you make the right decisions and prudent and sound decisions in order for you to present more professionally and lay a good legal foundation for your business moving forward. So with that in mind, I wanna get into some of these little fundamental things and tell you about things that you can tweak, i.e. this registered agent thing, to make your business appear more professional and to kind of take that burden off of you because the registered agent does have some responsibilities and they are important. Let's get into it and then you can decide what the right fit is for your business. I'm just the messenger. I want to be your guide and I want to give you the tools, but you will ultimately make the decisions at the end of the day. So let's get into it. So what is a registered agent in the first place? A registered agent is basically someone that you have designated to receive notices from your secretary of state other compliance related documents and correspondence, and most importantly, service of process for any lawsuits that involve your business. In other words, your registered agent is someone who is going to receive all these legal notices for you and make sure that you receive them quickly and timely. A registered agent needs to be in the same state that your business is in, and it can be either a business or a person. And for that reason, a lot of people list themselves as their registered agent when they form a company or when they do their annual filings. And I know what you're thinking at this point, you're like, what the hell is the point of this video? I'm just gonna be my own registered agent, but I'm here to tell you that that's not always the best decision for everyone. And there are a few reasons why being your own registered agent might not be the best decision, and you may wanna consider having someone take over those responsibilities on your behalf. So I'm gonna get into four reasons why you may not want to serve as your own registered agent, particularly if you have a virtual operation or you are a small business just starting out. So you've made it to a good spot in the video. I know you wanna get into the meat and potatoes, but you know I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and support my channel. And while you're there, hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I post these actionable and useful videos weekly on my channel. It really helps to support my channel and it lets me know that you guys find my content useful and valuable. One of the primary requirements in order for you to be a registered agent for someone in a particular state, including your own business, is that you have to have a physical location um, where legal notices and correspondence can be delivered to either by courier or like a process server. So you want to be able to list a physical address where those people can come to give you your notices. PO boxes are just not going to work and they're not acceptable as a registered agent's address. And I know what you're thinking, okay, Jolene, well, if that's the case, I'll just use my home address. And that's cool, you can totally do that if you want everybody on the internet to know where you live. And this brings me to my second point. The second reason why you don't want to act as your own registered agent is because of privacy and protection concerns. I always caution everyone to be very cautious about the things that you put out on the internet, even if it's stuff related to your business. These corporate filings, state filings, even federal filings, a lot of times they are public record and they are searchable by anyone that has Wi-Fi access. So if you're acting as your registered agent and you're putting down your home address, you better be sure that you are 100% comfortable with that information being out on the internet. You might wanna think twice about that. So if out of all of the reasons 
reasons that I state today about why you shouldn't act as your registered agent, this is probably the most important one to me. There are just a lot of weird people out there, a lot of crazy people out there who don't necessarily have the, your best intentions at heart and you don't want to give them, you know, any breadcrumbs that would lead to you. So if you can add just an extra layer of protection between yourself and your personal information, even if it costs you a little bit more than it normally would, it's not going to be free, of course, but for that peace of mind, I think it's absolutely worth it. And out of all of the reasons why you shouldn't be a registered agent, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most important, if not the most important reason why you need to be conscious of your privacy and the protection of your home and the people that live with you. So if you can do what you can to minimize that exposure, please go ahead and do it. It's better to be safe than sorry in my book. The third reason why you might not want to be your own registered agent is that your business has non-standard hours. Registered agents are required to be available at their physical addresses between normal hours of business. So nine to five, eight to six, somewhere in that range of standard business hours. And being a small business owner myself, particularly where my virtual businesses are concerned, I can tell you that your business hours are all over the place when you run a business like that. And sometimes even if you have a physical location and it's just you, you're so busy running around that you can't even guarantee that you're gonna be there between the hours of nine to five. It's a little bit crazy. So my final reason for why you wouldn't want to serve as your own registered agent is you just don't want to deal with the paperwork. So a lot of things come into your business mail. A lot of things come into your email. A lot of things come to you as a business owner. And on top of that, you're going to be getting legal notices and other documents that are coming from government bodies and other state regulators and a lot of times it can be overwhelming to stay on top of it and I know I'm I'm a lawyer and it's still difficult for me at times you really have to implement intake systems for any sort of mail or correspondence that's coming into your office so you can make sure that the things that need to be responded to timely are being responded to and listen some people just are not good at staying on top of that I work with a lot of creatives too they have wonderful ideas but they're just not good at the business side of it. They're not good at the paper. And I think it's important as a business owner to understand where your strong suits are. So if dealing with paperwork and dealing with notices and dealing with government correspondence is not your strong suit and it's something that overwhelms you, then you might want to just outsource that to someone who can handle it for you and make it a little bit easier for you to digest so you can focus on the things that you really like and enjoy with your business versus getting bogged down in paper. So I'm definitely not saying that all of this applies to every business in every situation. If you have a business, it's a brick and mortar operation, you have a physical address, that's not your home address and you or somebody that works for you is there between the hours of nine to five or eight to four or whatever your state requires then great you are in a great position to be your own registered agent it probably won't even be that difficult for you at all so in an instance like that I would say yeah go for it go ahead designate yourself as your registered agent or someone in your office and handle it yourself but if you feel like any of the four points I went over today applies to you then yeah you you might want to consider hiring somebody to be your registered agent instead of you especially for those of you who have businesses already and you are going through the process of doing your annual compliance or your annual annual reports you might want to just take this opportunity to update that registered agent information if that's what you want to do so the next question is how do you actually go about finding a registered agent finding a registered agent isn't that difficult at all if you do a quick google search for registered agent in your state um, for example registered agent Florida there's a lot of different options that come up there's tons of companies that offer these services my company also offers registered agent services in all 50 states you're in no way shape or form obligated to work with my company but if you are interested in having me be your registered agent or working with my company please go ahead and email me my email address is below and in the subject line just put registered agent or as an alternative you can text me on my number below that's also in the description box and here for you and you can text the words registered agent to that number and I will reach back out to you and get you all set up if you found this video helpful guys please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below and let me know that you liked it also if you think that there's anyone who can benefit from watching this video please go ahead and share it with them and share it with your network and your sphere of influence 
guys this is it for me today i hope you enjoyed the video again and i hope you found it useful if you have any questions or any comments please leave them down below or reach out to me on any one of my social media platforms or by email or by phone. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Please enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you on the next video.